What's up everybody, Russell Tracy here, and today we're going to be talking about collections. So if you've been following along with my Lightroom series, I've mentioned that I'm going to be doing a video specifically on using collections for client sharing, client proofing, stuff like that, and that's what we're going to do today. I use collections for a couple different things. If you saw the post to Instagram and Facebook video, that's one of the ways that I use collections so I can easily post all my photos to social media. The other thing I'll do is I'll upload the photos to Lightroom CC and give the link to the client and what the client can do is they can go in and they can pick the photos they like, they can leave comments, stuff like that, and it all comes directly back into Lightroom. So with collections, if you click over here in the library view, uh, you have the collections folder and there's two types of collections. There's a collection set and there's an actual collection. A collection is where you would put the photos. A collection set is just a set of collections. It's just a basically a folder that holds a bunch of different collections. So if you look here, uh, right here next to social media, if it looks like a photo, that's a collection. If it looks like a bin, uh, like the three above it, that is a collection set. Uh, so if I click on smart collections and look at these, uh, you can see that there is a bunch of collections inside this collection set. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to make a collection set and then a collection inside of that. So the first thing that you wanna do next to collections is the plus sign, you wanna click that and we're gonna do create a collection set. And like I said, this is just a folder and you can see here that you can create uh, collection sets inside of other sets. So you can you can make this as hierarchical as you want, folders inside of folders to keep it as organized as you want. So we're gonna do uh, test set. We're gonna create this. And you can see it created test set. Now obviously there's nothing in this. So we're going to create a collection. If I go up here into folders, Say I wanna add all of these photos right here to a collection. So I can select all the photos that I want and then go back into collections and do plus create collection. And then right here, we'll call this basketball test. You can add it inside a collection set. So I want this inside of test set. And what the first option is you can do include selected photos. So if I do this and hit create, it's going to create the collection and it's going to add all these photos. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. The other way that you can do it is if this is a collection that you already have built, easy way that you can do this is if this, say this photo wasn't in it, just click and drag it in and add it to the set that you want it to be in. Uh, so those are the two ways that you can add photos to a collection. Now, once you add the photos, as long as you're signed in, it'll say syncing however many photos there are. Should have mentioned this before. You need to check and make sure that you're signed into Lightroom CC. Up here, the identity plate, the little down arrow, you're gonna click that. And it's gonna say sync with Lightroom CC. And you're gonna have two options. It's either gonna say sign in or it's gonna have a little pause symbol. Uh, if it says sign in, click sign in, sign in with your Adobe CC account and it'll start syncing to your Adobe CC account. If it has pause, that's fine. You've already signed in, you're good to go. Uh, so now all we have to do is wait for these to sync. Now, while we are waiting for these to sync, one of the things that I do, if I'm sending these to a client, say I do a portrait shoot and I wanna send these to a client to pick the favorite ones that they like. Uh, well, I'm not gonna send them all the photos because obviously there's gonna be some that aren't good. What I can do is use the flag ratings to either flag or reject the photos. So typically what I do is I just go through and reject photos. If I wanna go through and I wanna reject this photo, I can right click on the photo and go down to set flag and hit rejected. And if it's rejected, it's going to be grayed out. Or what I can do is I can just highlight a photo and at least on a Mac, I can hit X and that will set it as rejected. When I'm sending these to the clients, I'll go through and I'll take out the ones, like if they're blinking or if it's out of focus or it's just a garbage photo or whatever. So we're gonna go through and uh, we're going to just reject a couple of these 
and just show you how this works. Um, so once these are synced, we have two more photos to sync. What we're going to do is we're going to go to lightroom.adobe.com. All right, once you get to lightroom.adobe.com, uh, you'll see all the collections here on the left-hand side. And if you click on the collection, it's going to bring up all the photos. Now, there are 23 photos in here. Now, we did reject some. Uh, keep that in mind. So if I go back over here to uh, lightroom.adobe.com, the Lightroom CC site, uh, down here on the actual folder, there's a little gear. So it says album settings. So if you click that gear, a little pop-up's going to come up, and it's got a couple tabs, and it's general, share, slideshow, and delete. If you click on share, it says this album is currently private. Sharing this album will display your photos at a public URL that you can share and post. So that's what we want to do. So we're going to click share this album. And it's going to do a couple things. The first thing it's going to do is it's going to generate a link. Now you can do a couple things here. You can post them on Facebook and Twitter and Google Plus and stuff like that. You also have a couple other options. So you can allow downloads. If you want the client to be able to download the photos, you can check this box. If I'm sharing these with a client so they can pick their favorite photos, I'm not going to check this box because I don't want them downloading the unedited images. Uh, you can also show metadata, show location, but then you have this thing, it says show flag. So you can show all photos. You can select only picked photos. So if you, if you pick the photo, like if you think it's the best photo, uh, you can do that way. I use rejected. So I use only unflagged. So it's only going to share the unflagged photos. So it's not going to show any of the rejected ones. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to copy. If you click this little thing, it's going to copy it. It says copy to clipboard, and then I'm going to hit done. Now, if I go to this link in Safari, you can see that there are only 17 photos. And the reason there's only 17 photos is oh, back over here in Lightroom, there's only 17 photos that are not rejected. You can go through here and you can look at all 17 of the photos. As far as the client proofing goes, over here, say we're going through these photos and the, client, uh, the client's going through. So the first thing that they have to do is you have to have them sign up for an Adobe ID. Uh, it's free. All they have to have is name, email address. They can unsubscribe from all the Adobe stuff, but they have to have a way to sign into Adobe. If they don't feel comfortable with that, what I've done in the past, I've created a dummy account just for client proofing. Give them that email address and the password for that to have them sign in. Once you're signed in, you can click on the photo and it's going to get bigger. Now, over here on the side, you have two options. You have the info thing. Now, if I click on this where it says show activity, this window pops up. Now, this is the really neat, uh, really helpful, really intuitive part of Adobe CC. All you have to do is tell your client if they like the photo, hit the heart. So right now, if I click this heart, it's going to say that I liked this photo. You have one like and I can see that I liked this photo. If you didn't notice over here in Lightroom, something happened. And what happened was now in this uh, test set, there is a little yellow badge. So if I click on this, it says review comments. So now I can review comments and it's going to sort all the photos that have a comment or a like, it's gonna bring them to the front. So in this case, I can look right here, and over here under comments, it says one like, Russell Tracy liked this photo. So if your client, if you send the client 20 photos and you say pick five, and they pick the five photos that they like, and then you sort by the, uh, by the comment type, the first five photos should be the ones that they like. You can select those five photos, and you can change them to like a, you know, like a two star photo, one star photo, you know, whichever, however you want to mark them. But if I mark this as green, as approved, we can see that it's green. If I go back up here to the folders, this photo is also green in the folder. So I can easily go through the photos now and I can see the ones that I need to edit that are, that the client liked. Now, the other thing that you can do, we're going to go back to the, the collection view and go back to Safari. 
is you can have them leave comments. So say they say this is a picture of a person and they say something like, I like this photo, but can you crop out the tree in the background? And then hit enter, post comment. It says, I like this photo, but can you crop out the tree in the background? Now, if we give it a minute, you can see that we have two unread comments now. So we can do review comments. It'll sort all the comments again. We're gonna select this photo and you can see the comment is right here. Now, one of the other cool things is you can send a comment back. Say this is a client, say, no problem. I'll crop out that tree. Hit send, give it a minute, and it's going to come back up here in Lightroom CC. We might have to cycle through this. No problem, I'll crop out that tree. So you can have a conversation. This can be incredibly helpful if you're, if you're doing publication work and you want to send an idea to a client and you wanna have a conversation back and forth. You can just leave comments back and forth. You can have multiple people commenting on a photo different ideas, stuff they want changed. This is an incredibly powerful feature that I don't think nearly enough people use because I don't think nearly enough people know about this actual feature. That's pretty much all I have for today. If you have any comments on this, any any questions, anything that you want to see, all my contact is in the description below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it that thumbs down. If you haven't done so, check out some of my other videos. Check out the other Lightroom series videos that I've done. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification if you want to get notified when I post future videos. This is Russell from Russell Tracy Photography. Have a good day.